just created a new event and then imported media into that event. Whether you brought in video clips, music, or graphics, just click on the name of the event and all the media it contains will be listed right here in the event browser. Before we begin, let's take a look at a way to customize your event browser so that clips are easier to see. These buttons provide two options for viewing clips, film strip view and list view. In list view, click a clip to see a wide preview of it just above the list. The list also shows the exact duration of each clip and the date and time each clip was created. For our examples, we're going to use film strip view. In film strip view, use the thumbnail slider to adjust the size of each clip's preview. The slider adjusts how much time each thumbnail represents. Just drag the slider left and right to make the film strips appear longer or shorter. There's a feature you should know about right away, and it's called skimming. Press the S key on the keyboard to turn skimming on and off. When skimming is on, you'll see a small red line under your mouse cursor anytime you hover it over a clip. This allows you to quickly move to a specific part of the clip. When you click a clip, a white line is placed in that position. This line is called the playhead. Hover the mouse over a video clip and slide the skimmer to the beginning, then press the spacebar to begin playing from that point. Press the spacebar again to pause. Okay, so we've already used the spacebar to start and stop playing. That spacebar is going to be your standard go-to shortcut for playing and pausing in Final Cut. You can also use the J, K, and L keys for a somewhat more sophisticated way to get around. The L key plays the clip forward. Press it two or more times in a row to increase the speed. The J key functions the same way, but in reverse. Press it to play backward. The K key pauses the clip no matter which direction it's playing. You can also move the playhead one frame at a time using the left and right arrow keys. Trimming a clip means to set an in point and an out point around just the portion you want to use. You may have noticed the yellow box that appears around a clip when you first click on it. This box is called the range selector. The simplest way to trim a clip is actually just to adjust the edges of the range selector. Just click and drag. As you drag each point, you'll see the selection you're making in the viewer. A somewhat more accurate way to trim a selection is to position the playhead to a specific frame and use keystrokes to set both the in and out points. Use the J, K, and L keys plus the left and right arrow keys to position the playhead precisely where you want the clip to begin. Press the I key on the keyboard to set an in point. Do the same thing for the out point. Accurately position the playhead, then press the O key to set an out point. Watch out for the skimmer with this method. Pressing I or O while the skimmer is actively skimming a clip will set in and out points wherever it happens to be positioned. Remember, you can always toggle the skimmer function off by pressing the S key on the keyboard. <laughs> 